In this video, let's see the first application in the chapter of application of derivatives. As in the previous video, we saw the first point that the rate of change is computed, the rate of change of quantities is computed with the help of the derivatives. So I write rate of change of quantities. Let's see what it has to say in the next video, although we'll be seeing some problem. But yes, here we have the theory related to it. We have say y as a function of x, so y is equal to fx is the function. And a small change in y or a change in x can be denoted by del y with the change in y with respect to x we say del x. So whenever you see del y upon del x that is nothing but the change in y due to the unit change in x because there is upon. But del y upon del x is it talking about the whole of the interval that you are talking about maybe or only a particular instant. So my dear friends, del y upon del x is nothing but the average change we are talking about. That means the whole as summed up. But if you want to talk about a very particular instance, then what to do? Then you write del y upon del x with the limit extends to 0. That means the limiting value. And that is known as the instantaneous change basically. So the instantaneous rate of change of y with respect to x or you can say that the dy by dx both these things are same. Although instantaneous rate of change is different from average change but we know that del y upon del x will be very much less used in this chapter. You will actually find this notation only which is dy by dx that means what till now in differentiation what we have studied was the instantaneous rate of change. So even if you do not find uh, the term written find the instantaneous rate of change but it says find dy by dx that means it is automatically talking about the instantaneous rate of change. Instantaneous rate of change means at that very instant at that particular moment that particular instant. So when I say rate of change or when I say instantaneous rate of change they mean the same that is why usually the word instantaneous is dropped. The instantaneous rate of change and the rate of change is same again I'm repeating that is why instantaneous is dropped because it is by default meaning that rate of change only. So dy by dx means what the rate of change of y with respect to x. If it is dx upon dy the rate of change of x with respect to y.